ready to take some notes? Do you have your pen and paper ready? This is How to Get Connected in Show Business with Don Reese. I'm a talk show host. Welcome to part two. Remember, I'm on six stations, 3 FM, 3 AM, also live on Facebook on Friday nights with Hollywood Connections and also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like this video and also go to Tan Talk Radio and uh, subscribe and you can see my show on Friday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Central Time. Again, the first video I told you about the celebrities, the agents, the producers, everybody that I've interviewed over the years, thousands of interviews to help you get connected. I'm not here to promise anything. I'm here to help you learn your craft and get your craft where it's supposed to be and motivate you as well. So number one, all of you are of course on social media because you're watching me. Number two, actually, if you watch your movies and you see you know, the credits, do you walk out or are you like waiting to see who casted that movie? So I used to go and make notes and take it to a movie theater or watching on my video and I'll make a note of who that casting director was. Then I will Google that casting director and I'll add them to my social media if it's Facebook, if it's in my area. As an example, we have Dolphin Tale 2 that was filmed here. There's something called Front Runner Casting, which is frcasting.com in Florida. And they do a lot of local movies and extras, and it's free, you like the word free, to sign up and you take your picture up there. Then they send you an email. They'll say, are you available for this date for a taping for something? And if you say you're not available, uh, then you're not available. But if you say you're available, that means that's not a complete booking yet. That means that you're in the running for that. So again, a little hint here, frcasting.com. Now, of course, in New York, LA, and Louisiana, there's Central Casting, which is phenomenal, another big extra casting place, and you can sign up with them as well. So if you wanna get your foot in the door and see how that works, and I used to book myself on sets back in the days, I was on Speed 2, yes, I was uh, the stand-in for uh, the cruise director with Sandra Bullock was there, and it was so amazing because guess who was sitting at my table? You never know who you're going to meet besides UB40, one of my favorite groups, and Quincy Jones, of course, the one and only. So yes, he was there with his talent right at my table, and it was so amazing. This gives you an opportunity, if you're an extra, to get yourself involved. And a lot of movie stars and a lot of actors have started out as an extra, and there's even an extra book that tells you all the people that started out to see if this is something they want to do. It's a passion that you have to have. Of course, I was on Lethal Weapon 3. Uh, I was a secretary, it was so amazing. But guess what, I was a young reporter and I went around to find out who was who and who was booked with what agency. Little did I know there was a handful of agents that booked the talent, but most of the people were all related. It was the uncle, it was the cousin, it was the brother. I was like, that was interesting. So everyone takes care of each other. Another one was Dance With Me with Vanessa Williams. Of course, I got on the set and uh, she's director came up, she goes, you look like a judge. And I said, well, I do judge pageants. And she says, well, I want you as a judge in the movie. So of course you can see me walking past uh, Vanessa Williams and then chatting with her and Chris Christopherson, which is coming to town soon. In January, I heard at the Ruth Eckert, I think I've got to check on that and chatted with them. And it was, it was so amazing because you're getting and networking with people. And because it's so small, everyone thinks it's so big, but it's so small of a networking. So just to give you a little idea, and those are some of the extras that I have done, and there's more, I forgot, there's just a lot more. In the meantime, I have uh, an agent that was out of Milwaukee. I did a lot of Kohl's department stores. I did a lot of um, Montgomery uh, catalog out of Chicago. I had an agent in Chicago, and I would take the Amtrak back and forth because it was only like an hour and a half ride. So those were the days. So now I have a handful of agents here as well, and it, I kind of pick and choose, or if there's a director that I'm talking to, I'll say, hey, put me in your movie, and they'll go, I'll write you in. <laughs> it's so cool. So in the meantime, how do you do that? So the secret that I'm giving you is, yes, so watch your movies. Uh, Google casting directors in your area, number one. And guess what? Most of the casting directors are putting their information on Facebook. Yes, they're putting their information saying, I'm doing a casting for such and such. And that's another way to connect. But most of the times, a casting director will want you to have an agent. So back to how to get an agent. I have a SIG agency under my show, but you have to be really good. They're out of Hollywood, Florida. I have all the paperwork. It's not exclusive. And if you are out there networking and you're in your area and someone says, do you have an agent? You could possibly have one under my show. So if you are interested, 
you can email me at drhollywoodconnections at gmail.com. Now it's dr Hollywood connections with an S at gmail.com and just let me know do you have a headshot do you have a good resume do you have an acting is it substance you know is it good and that's what they're looking for and you say to yourself how to get an agent now I'm gonna go back here's an example before I was a talent manager back in the days in Hollywood California I had one of uh, two of my sons wanted to try show business and I put one of my sons and I got him an agent and so he did the Burger King and he was in a couple little things and the Burger King was a national print ad. It was fabulous. And how I got that was I had put his, um, so we had to mail, like we don't have all the emails and stuff that we do now. So what I did was I put his stuff into an envelope and I would put his agent's name on it and the number and I'd send it out to advertising agency, production, casting directors. <laughs> so the agent called me up and said, did you, did I send you to a casting with your son? I said, no, I did some work. She goes, oh God, you should be an agent at that time. And I said, uh, well, no, I did a mailing and I wanted to promote my son more. She goes, well, you did such a great job. He just booked a look, um, which is a look of book, look of like book. <laughs> and so he got the job. And so that's when I realized it is marketing. It's not just waiting for that phone call to ring and hoping you get the job. You really have to make things happen. So anyways, then there was another agent that I sent some things over and they went, I'm sorry, he's not the look that we're looking for. And I was like, really? I mean, he, I heard this agency loves kids, blonde, blue eyes, freckles. And they said, he's not what we're looking for. Well, six months later, I tried it again. They're like, oh my God, who is this kid? I'm like, are you serious? So in the meantime, then I went to work for an agency. Uh, it was Boca Talent at the time. And I worked for Anita and I was a commercial talent agent at the time. And I learned a lot on that too. And I was asking, how do people get agents? Well, guess what? Now all you have to do is go and Google talent agents in your area. Now be careful because what you really want is a Screen Actors Guild agent. You want to Google talent agents, SAG agents or talent SAG agents in your area. And then uh, it'll pop up, there'll be websites. Most of the people now are having you send pictures and photos over to them on their website. Of course, you can do that. And then I always say, do a follow-up call. Make sure that you call them up and say, hi, I just sent over a picture. Uh, do you have an audition date? Do you have an open call day to come in and audition? But I wanna tell you, be prepared because guess what? They're gonna to wanna to ask you for a monologue and make sure it's appropriate for your age. They want your headshots, your resume. They want things together. You don't wanna just like, oh, here's a resume, here's a picture. Make sure they're stapled and they're neatly together because they still like to hard copy when you come in. That's really important. So number two is how to get an agent. There always is a right agent for you. Now I'm gonna step back in time again, and I'm gonna go back to when I was a teenager. I was at Arlene Wilson Talent Modeling out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Long story short, of course I'm 5'4 and I'm petite short, and I really wanted to meet this agent, and he was out of New York, I was so excited, and I did a lot of work. I did Wrangler jeans, I did Kohl's department stores, I was on TV, I was, Oh my God, Kohler, I did, oh my gosh, AJ exercise equipment. I was on all the boxes in Kmart, Kmart. <laughs> I remember walking out of Kmart and someone had me on their box and I'm like, that's me. And they're like, can you sign it? It was so cool. Anyway, so my point is I had a book full of work, which was my portfolio, which you don't need a portfolio with the pictures anymore. You, that's way gone. So I took my book of my portfolio and I went in front of this agent and he looked through it and he goes, nope, sorry, next. Now I want to tell you, if I was really devastated, I would not be where I am today because I knew there was an agent for me for commercial print work. So guess what? I found one in Chicago and then I found another one called Jennifer's Talent out of Milwaukee. She's amazing. She's still there. I got to get her on the show, by the way. And so there was a lot of things that she did and got me going and got me print work. It was fabulous, phenomenal. I will never get, but there's always a right agent for you. The main thing is you really need some training. If you're in high school, make sure that you go to your drama department. If you're in production, make sure you get in production. If you are uh, in musical, singing, anything that can go on your resume is important. Here's an example. I work at a prominent modeling school. I teach. It's fabulous. And so what I tell people, just don't put the modeling school down. Put everything you've learned. Cold reading. You're wondering what that is. You need to get some training on it. You need to get 
everything that goes into a resume, if it's runway, if it's TV, if it's film, if it's talk show, whatever you put down is so important to go on your resume. So just don't put the name down, put in depth of what you've learned. And that makes a huge difference in TV and film, especially with a casting director. I've sat next to the best casting directors. I've helped producers in Denver at a casting for another modeling event. And I've been involved in so many opportunities in the modeling industry. I used to put the big stages together with model productions. That was back in the days in New York. And I was learning about the opportunities, how many people wanted to be discovered overnight. And it's not overnight. It's like Joe Jackson, Michael's dad said to me, get out there, be known, strike. You really wanna see that video? Go to YouTube, put in Dawn, Reese, Joe Jackson. And you'll see the late Joe Jackson, Michael Jackson's father giving some great advice. So anyways, the people that were there um, was great because they, learned, they did their runway walk, they did their you know, little commercial, but they did not have the training. So a lot of times, of course that company's not here anymore, they're doing something else. But I did learn a lot putting these big stages together and traveling in New York and Jersey and finding out what talent wanted and why people were upset or they write letters to a company and they say, oh, I went through this training, I didn't get anything because they did not follow through with the agent's list or they didn't follow through getting connected and they're afraid to maybe call that agent and say, uh, do you have an open call day? So it's up to you to make that happen. Very soon on my show, I'm gonna have some experts that are also out there every single day doing commercials and auditions and they have 10 agents from here to Miami to Atlanta. It's, it's amazing. And they're gonna give you their advice too if I can get in touch with them if they're not so busy. So how to get an agent, that's number one. So you really have to do your research. And again, you know that agents don't take money and that's number one. So you know they are there to give you, a, take out a commission out of your check. Managers, are, you need to find a good one. And when I used to manage, okay, Omar, you're probably saying to yourself, yes, I'm gonna help you with some things. I'm gonna help you with your career because he called me the other day saying, can you help manage me? And I need a manager. So there are some people that I'll be selective and kind of help. Managers are supposed to have a ton of contacts, a ton of them. It's like shells. I mean, I used to pick, oh my gosh, producers, agents, casting directors. I mean, everything, that's what managers do. They're there to help your career, they're help. Your, your look, uh, your social media, every, they're there to help you. So a really good manager can help you, but of course they take out a smaller commission as well. So um, you got that commission plus your agent commission and then you gotta pay your manager. So there's like a, a kind of catch 22 on that. Only if you have a really good manager. So another opportunity people ask me of how to get an agent is uh, you can also Google production companies in your area. Oh, I'm getting a good list here. And then you can fill out some information and then you can send over. Now, some people do not take the agents or the casting directors and they just put you in their file. Like we have one here called uh, Blue Water Media. They do a lot of audience participation and it's been great. I met Lisa Gibbons, which her story was phenomenal. I met her out of college when my, actually, uh, my professor at the time told me to go and watch Lisa Gibbons. And I went to her show and then I got to see her many years later and tell her how she inspired me. And she was doing a talk show with a doctor. But we just were an audience member like this and we clapped. You don't have to sit next to people that don't want you to sit next too close and they go, <laughs> you can't have an attitude and you just have to go, breathe, you'll be fine. But it's a lot of fun and you can make 65 to $125. So anyways, that's kind of fun, but it's more networking. Another opportunity, and I've told so many people, and you're gonna love this one. I met actually a couple gals. I did something with CVF Productions. We did some casting calls, and we had two girls that came in, and they were adorable. They looked like twin sisters. And I gave them some advice. I said, I'm gonna give you some secrets. I want you to Google film festivals. Every film festival needs volunteers. And they did, and they volunteered. The next year I saw them walking down another red carpet event that I was at was the International Christian Film Festival, which was phenomenal in Orlando. If you have a chance to volunteer for them, oh my God, Marty Jean, uh, get ready. Because this event had Lou Gossett Jr., they had celebrities, they had Kevin Sorbo. It was phenomenal and I, had, I was blessed because I was up for a nomination for best talk show host. So I got to walk the red carpet and my reporters were interviewing me and I took my top reporter from South Florida and she was with me and I gave her a little bit of extra, uh, I would say sparkle that day. And they interviewed her about being a reporter with me. 
So again, how do you get connected in show business? These are the secrets that you hope you're writing down. And please let me know what film festivals you're at. Or maybe you might say, Dawn, you know what? I would like to be a reporter for you. I'm in Dallas, Texas. I want you to help train me. I want to be a reporter on the red carpet. That can happen. All you have to do is send me a video of yourself. Why do you want to be a beauty queen reporter? Or you want to be a regular reporter? And then I can help you with that. So who knows, you may get a media ID and it's like your kryptonite. Oh yeah, it gets into everything. They're all in my car. I've got like five media IDs. And so anyway, so that might be an opportunity. Like all my other reporters that I've trained, they've been on film festivals, met connections, said, how do I get into your movie? And that's kind of the way things work. Okay, so you're getting the big picture now. So a lot of people don't know about film festivals and directors that they have to pitch their films and let people see it and so forth. So that's one thing. We've got a couple big film festivals coming up this weekend. My co-host Lisa V will be over at the Latin Film Festival interviewing producers and she's a singer. So why not better yet, guess what? She got in the movie Coco because she's a singer and they feature her doing some singing at uh, one of the uh, 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 scenes in the movie. And of course my friend, I told him, I said, you know, you need to put me as a reporter and it's, he did. <laughs> so that movie's coming out, hopefully at Amazon Prime, you'll see me as in the back, but I'm networking. The main thing I'm trying to let you know is it's really networking, it's getting out there and making things happen. So just don't wake up and go, oh, I'm waiting for the phone call, you know, I'm an actor. It's a business and that's where the business part comes in that you really have to get out there. Again, film festivals. I mean, Florida, we have Sunscreen, we have the International Christian Film Festival, we have Dun Eden Film Festival, which I cannot wait this year. It was fabulous last year, it was her first year and it was just a number one red carpet event as well. There are so many other things that you can get involved in, which really helps get you connected in show business. So that's some hints that I wanted to give you. I know this video is a little longer, and then I hope to hear from you about your success stories, or maybe you have a question and you want to call in on the show on Friday nights. Guess what? You can. I need you to text me at 727-871-7788 and I'm gonna send you my digital business card. Now, it has my number on it, and then you can say, hey, I wanna be on your show, I have some questions about show business, and so forth. So I have no problem sending that to you, just put digital card, and I'll send that over to you and put show. And you know, to give you an idea, like I said, my reporters are getting their own half hour shows, so when they're out there on the red carpet, they're interviewing, they're taking the audio. So we have another actress that I'm working with. Her name is Renee. She started out as a reporter with me, Renee Leon, and she was the one that introduced me to the digital business card. And so now she's gonna be having her own health and a wellness beauty half hour. So that's another one to give you an idea. We've got the Lisa V, ripping it with Lisa V. Uh, those are specials under Hollywood Connections. We have Stephen B coming up. He's a new sports reporter. What I would like to do is get more teenagers out there, get you out interviewing. Of course, there are a couple things that you have to invest in. A microphone for your, um, it's an eye rig. I'll go more into that depth. I will show you on the next video if you become a reporter or audition for me. And of course, the tripod that I have mine on right now that gives you, you know, a lot of help too. I just ordered another circle light for uh, some of the events that are coming up, like the Jazz Festival this weekend. And I know it goes into the dark, so I need some more lighting. So anyways, there are some things that you have to do. It's just like if you're going into dance class or skating lessons, ice skating, which I love. And who knows, if they're like $18 to get in now and $20 to sharpen your skates <laughs> for one afternoon of two and a half hours. And so, uh, yes, you'll be seeing me at the ice rink again. In the meantime, it's what you invest in. So I gave you information on agents, casting directors, Google them, look them on, put them on Facebook, and then if they're, they're full, just write them and say, can I get in your casting database? So there's more tricks of the trades coming up. I'm so excited that you tune in of part two of how to get an agent, not just an agent, how to get connected in show business. And I hope I'm giving you some great advice to get out there. Don't wait for things to happen, go out and make them happen. And that's what I've done all my life. You know, if there's an agent that I want, that I wanna, you know, I have an agent right now. And if I see something, I'll call them up and say, hey, I saw this casting, can you send me out? And if it's not in their database, they'll find out and say, yeah, no problem, Don, I'll send you out for it. So that's kind of what I'm doing now and bringing you some amazing interviews, some amazing shows that have actually been on Amazon Prime coming up. And there'll be some reruns if you're watching this. Uh, we do have a movie called Heavenly Deposit. I, I have the actor, the producer, 
a phenomenal story on Amazon Prime, and he was, he's an actor. He's got his IMBD, and he wanted to produce his own movie. Hello, am I getting to somebody? And guess what? He didn't know how, but he prayed about it, and the right people came, and guess what? He has this movie on Amazon Prime. So, you know, when Robert Evans told me back in the days from Paramount Pictures, he did How to Lose a Guy in one, uh, in not one day, <laughs> 10 days. <laughs> oh, my God. How uh, The Godfather and some other uh, major, major films, of course, you just pop Robert Evans up. He told me, get out there and use your digital phones to make movies. There's one movie, I guess, on Netflix that came off of their iPhone. So... You know, you can do your own thing and it's not just waiting for somebody. Even these days now, one of my older, other reporters that's a little bit older now, invested in camera work, he's doing a lot of work for the film festivals, and I'm so proud of him for how far he's come, he's a photographer. He did a short video on his grandmother, I think she had cancer, and he did a little documentary and he was walking down the red carpet. So again, what, he was 17? And did this documentary and sent it in so again start doing documentaries on your phone uh, there's other ideas to get you out there and get connected uh, go on go on like I said your networking events call your film commissioner and find out what's happening in your area as like I said we have women in film here we have the Tampa Bay Film Society uh, these are people that get together that can network and say I want to be in your movie that's how it happens and of course you have to go to the major markets now uh, if you want to go to LA and, and and but now you can send in your audition video so my advice to you is make sure you look for a monologue make sure you get your training make sure you've got a good headshot no hats on the headshot <laughs> they want your headshot and they also want uh, they want your a good resume and if you have any questions please feel free to let me know and I can see if I can get you on my show on Hollywood Connections. You can see us live on YouTube and I'm here to connect you in show business. Now wait till part three is coming up in the next couple days. I'll be talking more about in depth of what agents look for and then I'll pop some interviews in there to help you as well and what some of the uh, agents and producers have said to help your career. Well, I'm Dawn Reese. Thank you for joining me on this uh, sunny afternoon here in uh, Clearwater Beach, Florida. I'm here to help you as your personal concierge and entertainment. I hope I gave you some motivation today, so get out there and make things happen. I look forward to hearing from you.